Hello everyone. I just experienced a problem with a specific type of PNY drive, or a flash drive, or jump drive, or a thumb drive, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, you know, I plugged it in. It was brand new out of the store. I actually had this one, which I always used, uh, which I know works. So, you know, I went out, I bought the 64 gigabyte one, and I went ahead and I plugged it in brand new into my computer, and it didn't get recognized, nothing popped up. Uh, you know, on my MacBook, it didn't show up in disk utility. Uh, after I realized, you know, something fishy is going on, I booted into Windows 7, and it just told me, uh, device not recognized, the device might be damaged or corrupted, uh, you know, you couldn't even assign a letter to it. Anyway, uh, what I did was, uh, the next reasonable step after trying everything software-related is I got one of these uh, hubs, USB hubs, and I plugged it in, and to my surprise, it worked. So there I go through the process of elimination, because obviously I wanted to use with this USB drive, uh, I mean uh, USB outlet, and, uh, you know, uh, by the way, if you plugged it into every single device you can find and your drive still doesn't get recognized, this video is not for you, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, but if you have this type of drive or you have a different type of flash drive, it still might apply. Uh, you know, if uh, you plug it into another device and it gets recognized and on your computer it doesn't. Uh, basically, what I did was uh, I took a look at this drive because I was really contemplating it. I was just sitting there looking at it, wondering why on earth won't it work? And I, re like, you know, I took a look inside the USB outlet right here. And then I took a look inside here and all the contacts are clear. And then I realized one important thing the way they manufactured this drive. Both of these actually, I mean, this this must be a widespread error. Uh, not error, problem. But uh, basically, you know, if you take a look at a regular USB uh, port, or a, you know, mail connection, uh, one thing you'll notice is that uh, the contact side has these two uh, connecting points on top of them. With this one, with this one, with any of them. With these drives, however, one thing you may notice with yours is that they manufactured it wrong. They screwed up, basically. Uh, these two holes are supposed to be on top, uh, near the connecting point. So, uh, basically, your drive might go in, but it might not make a good connection. And that's the basic problem that I noticed. So, let's take this 64GB uh, drive. And let me show you what I did with this specific brand. With other ones, uh, what you could try and do is you could take a look inside and maybe you could take a tweezer or something and elevate this black part so it makes contact. But with this particular drive that I bought, uh, you want to press this side, this black piece right here. Sorry for my dirty nails. This black piece right here and on the other side. And you want to very carefully hold the aluminum casing and you want to take the black part. You want to very carefully slide it out exposing the contacts and you want to go ahead and flip it and you want to put it right back in and you want to make sure it's closed there we go and completely sealed up and then after that what you might notice is that after putting it in it's gonna go in a little bit more nice and firm and with a little luck, it's, yep, going to pop up on your desktop. So, this is my solution that I found. Uh, it worked right off the bat for me. Hold on, let me just eject it. Because uh, Mac OS software gets really feisty with you if you don't eject a USB probably, properly. Anyway, uh, after that... After doing so, uh, let me just demonstrate one last time how you're supposed to do this. I'm actually going to flip it back around. Uh, one moment. Give me one moment. Okay. You want to take it. You want to hold it. You want to make sure nothing uh, is creating enough friction or anything uh, with this side or nothing is protruding. You want to, you know, press right in. And you want to take it. And slide it carefully, making sure nothing's falling apart. Flip the metal aluminum casing and push it right back in. 
and afterwards you want to make sure because I mean I'm sure someone got fired over this or something after they realized uh, I hope not but uh, basically what it is is uh, you know they manufactured it wrong this is not how a USB is supposed to look they manufactured it wrong this is how it's supposed to look like right here the contacts with the two open holes anyway uh, I hope this helped someone. I really hoped it helped you. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you have any other suggestions or anything for other people, uh, like what worked for you, leave it in the comment section below because it, you know, might help someone else. And, uh, these type of, uh, technical problems are very, very difficult to solve some, for some people. Like, you know, you plug in a USB drive and you don't know what on earth is causing it to fail or not work. Alright, so, thanks for watching.